How are you, you guys? Karabuni. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Faith. And I am Lucas. And we are Lucas and Faith. Anyway, guys, let's, we're going to cut the jokes. We have to tell you guys a lot because we have spent the last six and a half weeks in Kenya. And it was nothing short of amazing. <laughs> going back home because that's where I was born that's where I was raised it's always good to see the people there the <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna be talking about Kenya it starts though with our attempt to get there so the reason I say attempt is because the first time hmm where do we begin so here we are. We didn't get to fly because uh, I didn't get my visa. So we're gonna have to wait a couple days and then we'll hopefully make it to Kenya. Now that might seem like a, like duh, I should have gotten my visa. I like obvious. But yeah. see, the thing is, last time I went to Kenya in twenty 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 when we went in twenty twenty. I got my visa after I flew and after I landed in Kenya. So this time around now, they changed the rules mm -hmm. so where I need to apply for an e-visa before I can fly. We were so excited to like go back home. When we got to the counter, of course, Zuri and I could fly, but Lucas couldn't. And I literally told the lady, I was like, I am literally not flying without my husband. I am not leaving him. That's not even an option. So we went aside and we had to like fill out the paperwork for him to get his visa, but it didn't come on time. So we had to reschedule our flight. So we rescheduled the flight for a couple of days later and mm -hmm. a lot of money later. <laughs> um, so we landed in Kenya on May. May 10th. So to avoid that, please get your visa yeah. beforehand. Yeah. If you're not a Kenyan citizen, Get your visa beforehand. If you're a Kenyan citizen, you're okay. But if you're traveling with your friend, your spouse, make sure they get their visa beforehand. First of all, we flew Kenya Airways. This uh. is not paid by Kenya Airways. But Kenya Airways, amazing. Direct flight, 13 hours to Kenya, which was amazing. Zuri did amazing. For us, this is a huge thing because we're parents and you don't want to hold your child for 13 hours on the flight. So they provided a bassinet for us, which was game changer and guys zuri did incredibly yeah. on the flight there on the, on the flight back mm -hmm. she didn't on the flight there she fussed you know just maybe cried or whined just a little bit but on the way back she didn't cry once yeah, like i i was so i was so thankful so faith did an amazing job taking care of zuri on the flight um both there and back but yeah then we got to githerai uh, well, we got to Kenya, and then of course we are staying in Faith's hometown, Githerai. So Githerai 45, um, to be specific, and for me that's home. So going back to Githerai 45, ah, uh, it's it's like my favorite place. One nice thing about being back in Kenya was the food. Salad. Salad. Chapati. Chapati. This one. Yes. Pilau. Pilau. This one? Jahe. Jahe. Ooh. Mokimo. Mokimo. Wow, I've never seen so much Mokimo. <laughs> and stew. And, uh, and what's this one? Yeah. More rice? Yes. Yeah. And then more. Pilao. Ah, can't wait. So much good food, just like everywhere we went. Such fresh. nice, fresh, organic food. <sighs> um, the tea, you know, drinking chai like three times a day. This, I have to confess, this might be my fourth cup of tea for the day. And uh, it's not even evening time, so I'm probably gonna have my evening tea. So that's five cups of tea, yo. I've, I, I, didn't, I don't even drink tea in the US. I mean, one thing I really like, Kenyan women, especially the mamas. So we, we use, it's summer here, it's so hot. And then when it gets cold, it gets really frigid. It's so cold. So we used, when we go to Kenya, we're like, oh my goodness, beautiful weather. So I'm dressing down 
he's dressing down my daughter is also dressing down to just a onesie because she gets really hot she's her da dad's she had she's her father's daughter she gets really hot she starts sweating she gets fussy these mamas would be like meaning that child you should put clothes on that child and i'm like she's hot she doesn't want clothes on her that would drive them nuts oh my goodness everywhere we went i would be outside with zuri oh. and people would say she, she's cold put a sweater, put a sweater on, her. on her and i'm and like I'm no like, feel oh, her she's my warm. child is sweating we yeah. did some traveling while we were in kenya what was your favorite place of all the places we went to so we went to nakuru naibasha kenny and ruaka ruaka is my favorite Ruaka is your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Why is Ruaka your favorite? Because where we were in Ruaka, we were in like a farm, but it's still right by the city. I don't know, it was just so beautiful, so so green, so much, so much agriculture. But all the other places were good. We had to visit Nakuru. Of course, it's different from me because my shoshu is not there anymore. Mm. So that was a little bit sad yeah. going back to my shoshu's house and she's not there anymore. Yeah. Naivasha, I hadn't seen my aunt in over 10 years, so it was good to see them. Yeah, and on our way to Naivasha, we got bombarded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness that was that oh was epic goodness, we just yes. pulled over to stop for some roasted corn roasted maize mm -hmm. and they came Running. yeah so that was fun that's always fun but even while we were just in githerai something else was that was so nice was all the children that were there yes. zuri was in heaven she loved it <laughs> She's so just such a social baby, and yeah. so she just loved, like just like her mother. I ain't social like that. Girl, you come alive when. Okay, that's a whole nother video for another time. <laughs> Who is the introvert here? That's something we'll, mm -hmm. we'll have to talk about. Zuri absolutely had so much fun. Oh, Zuri! Good job. Good job. Good job. Gentle, 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 gentle. <laughs> Even on the street in Githerai, I know you might, I don't know if many of you have been to Githerai, but like there'll be goats just walking down the road, there'll be some cows, there'll, a guy will come with his camel, you know, to give kids rides. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she had so much fun with the kids, and she would literally just, every, every morning Lucas would take her outside, so like she would wake up and she'd just point to the gate, yeah. like, eh let's go and yeah. when you would take her outside and then try and bring her inside she would throw a fit Gosh. she never wanted to be in the house she just wanted to be outside just like her father so um something i found difficult while being in kenya really difficult was transportation because <gasps> yes. we would go around as a group we would be like eight or nine people and we didn't have a car so we'd have to take sometimes even like three ubers, ubers. to go somewhere which was kind of overwhelming yeah. and then even being in a matatu some of those matatus sitting in the way back oh my goodness it's so tight <laughs> don't hit your head Leah. but anyway Anyway, no complaints. We drove on a Boda Boda together. Oh my gosh, yeah, we um, took which Zuri is, on a Boda Yeah, Boda. we took Zuri on a Boda Boda. Yo. We did everything. Yeah, I don't think my mom knows we took Zuri on a Boda Boda, yeah. so she'll probably see this video and she'll be like, you took my baby on a Boda Boda? <laughs> Zuri! Zuri, mama! Zuri! <laughs> But yeah, she had, I mean, the first time she was on a Boda Boda, she cried. And then the yeah. second time she was fine. We were able to visit the giraffe center because mm. I wanted to see giraffes. I mean, she wouldn't register it in her head. It was more for us. This one doesn't like kids. He doesn't like kids? She saw giraffes. She saw um, warthogs. She saw crocodiles. She was actually scared oh, of the yeah. crocodiles. <laughs> We went to Mamba village. Yes. And she got scared of the crocodiles there. Mm -hmm. We saw tortoises. Say hello, Canobias. Ostriches. Those are kind of like the animals we saw, right? Yeah. 
We also had our friend Aliyah with us. Where's the scrubber thing? Here's Aliyah washing laundry by hand. She just like blended in so well with like out the culture. I don't think for her there was a huge culture shock. One thing I did, I'm so mad I did not get to enjoy while in Kenya was smoky pasua. What's smoky pasua? Uh, smoky. It's like a hot dog. You split it in the middle and you put salsa, kachumbari. Mm. And with, I don't know if they put tomato sauce or hot sauce, I cannot remember. But that, when I, when I used to live in Kenya, I used to eat that a lot. And it was 20 bob. Now it's 50 bob. I'm like, Kwani, what's in this smoky pasua that it has to be 50 bob? I was shook. And then we ate samosa, roadside samosa for 20 bob. I think it would be nyama ya punda. Because there's no way, there's no way beef will be 20 shillings. That was donkey meat that we ate, <laughs> me and Aliyah. I remember like biting into it and I was like, mm, this, this don't taste like beef. One other thing, we stopped at Viewpoint, which was is always a highlight whenever we go to Kenya, you know, on our way mm -hmm. to Na Naivasha or Nakuru, we stop at the Viewpoint. Be careful. Oh my goodness, look at it. If I've never been to Kenya, huh, I will start planning your trip right now. Yeah. Kenya is gorgeous, by the way. Even Gidra is gorgeous. I will let me put my, my hometown out there. Gidra is very beautiful. You just have to put your phones very well. That's it. You know, going to the market is always fun. Gidra market is crazy. Oh, Lucas. What? You didn't tell them how you bargained for your pants to be sewn. Oh. <laughs> so I had a pair of pants that I really like here in the States and I brought them with me to Kenya. And they had holes all over and so I needed I wanted them to be, you know, patched. So I decided to go out and I went out with one of the one of the children who knew knew somewhere to take me to to a um, seamstress. Mm -hmm. So we go there and we walk in and I show them the pants and they you know and I have an idea of how much it should cost. And so they say 300, 300 Kenyan shillings. And I said, I said, no, 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 no. You see Mzungu. And so you say 300. Right away, they laughed and they smiled and said, oh, you know, you know, I said, yes, I know. Like I've yeah. been in Kenya now, like five, six, six weeks. You know, I know that you guys, when you see Mzungu, you see money. And so I, what? You say that? Yeah, I did say some something along those lines. What? Okay, you are bold. Good anyway, job. so I you. basically told them, um, that they see me and they think they can charge extra and so I, I brought them down on the price and then of course you know look I wanted to give them a little extra but I would rather them be more honest and then I give them maybe a little tip rather than just charging me way too much from the beginning so I didn't like that so it, it was okay it was yeah. cool um, so that was fun one other thing that was pretty fun was my friend took me to the tailor to to get a shirt fitted for me and on our way there was a crusade happening by what was the name of the church the group oh wakarino wakarino hmm? wakarino okay yeah. wakarino mm -hmm. wakarino yeah so we had a uh there was a what, what? well i didn't say nothing you were thinking something so much no. that your face almost said it okay Anyway, so we saw the, this crusade happening, so we just we just joined in, and it was awesome. That's one of my highlights. I gotta say, that was one of my highlights. What's your name, man? I'm Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, Mwangi. Yeah. 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 Was was just being there with the crusade on the street spontaneously. Just jumping around. We weren't just jumping around. We were worshiping. Just okay. jumping around. We were just jumping around. No, we weren't just jumping around. Lucas spent a lot of time with the kids, so he was always outside with the kids, which was beautiful to, to just see. Like, he loves children. Yeah, it was just nice to get just, to know the children because yeah. from there, then we would get to know, you know, the, the, the parents, we'd get to know the situations at home, and we were able to just really meet with a lot, so many different people and, and spend time with them, which was so special. That, that mm -hmm. was the other highlight of the trip. Anyway, guys, that was, that was our little trip to Kenya. It was not little. That was a long time in the motherland. That was our trip to Kenya. It was so beautiful. And like I said, again, if you haven't been to Kenya, what are you waiting for? Something else. That Faith, Faith's got some stories from Kenya she has not told Let you about. Tell you, the next video. The next the video. The next video, I'm going to give you some exclusive stories okay 
Faith had to go to the doctor. I got sick in, in Kenya. Kenya. So we'll tell you what she got sick with and what she had to go, how her and experience. And what I, my experience, what I had to go through. Yeah. Then got it into that. It'll wait, like. it'll wait, it'll wait. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you for, for giving us your time and we hope you enjoyed the video. To the new subscribers, welcome. Yeah, and welcome. You see this video and you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time we post, even though we haven't been posting. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know it might not seem like we don't post very often, but you are always in our minds. YouTube, it's always like yeah. in the in our mind, like we have to post, we have to post. I know so we will be posting, hard. all right? Yeah. This might not be as frequent as you'd like and as we would like yeah. because we've got, you know, life. Yeah. But we will be posting, okay? Yes. We never forget. Bye, guys. Bye.